Lucas Media, shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. So we got some interesting news coming out in boxing. Michael Benson put out a tweet talking about Floyd Mayweather, a.k.a. Money Mayweather. Rumors are rumors around and now hearing reliable sources that Al Heyman supposedly owes Floyd Mayweather $100 million from past purses, telling Floyd he was investing in money for Floyd and now Heyman been nowhere to be found since December 18, 2023. This could be the reason why Floyd has financial issues in Dubai. The big question, where's Al Heyman? I'm sure Floyd would like to know. Sounds like other Heyman fighters should be checking on their finances. That's their Uncle Al. May have invested. Tell me it 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 aren't so, Uncle Al. So basically, Michael Benson saying he's hearing rumors that Floyd owes some money, right? Are y'all surprised? Are y'all surprised? Maybe to the casual fans, this seems shocking because Floyd always talks about, you know, you know, I'm making uh, uh, smart investments in, you know, uh, generational wealth. And, and it's all about just being smart with your money. But 50 Cent literally said on The Breakfast Club in 2012 that Floyd doesn't even have financial advice. Everything run through Al Heyman, which is why he tried to start a TMT uh, with Floyd. And then if they ended up falling through and their relationship wasn't the same no more because Floyd didn't want to pay. 50 but 50 said that when he started looking at it floyd went to him asking for help he started looking at it looking at his records and mayweather promotions wasn't even the llc they were just screaming the name mayweather promotions so it if this is true it makes sense why floyd was stuck in japan again remember in japan where they just threw him on that press and that that podium when that happened the whole dubai incident remember logan paul said he didn't get his money on time um, you know, you get you got rumors out here that Floyd owe other people money, and then you know, it, it, this is why you gotta have multiple people looking at your money, multiple firms and uh, accountants, and because it, this is boxing is a very shady business, and none most fighters are not financially educated, you know, and then Floyd has an expensive spending habit. Let's just say he made. 600 million right hypothetically after taxes when you own a private jet that's 70 something million you got multiple homes that's that that's 10 plus million dollars you got an 18 million dollar watch you got bugattis and and everything else you can think of jewelry million dollars you got 10 million dollars worth of jewelry all of that stuff adds up and i think that most people don't realize that even and just look remember ali money was low for a while Mike Tyson money was low. Um, Joe Lewis, you know, who got screwed over. Joe Lewis went went, went with a similar situation. Most fighters go broke. There's only a handful like a, a Oscar De La Hoya because he made so much money and started Mayweather Promotions or Larry Holmes. You know, Larry Holmes owns a couple of buildings in his, in his hometown. But... It, you know, these fighters, man, they get the money, they blow it, and then other people be taking money out the pot, but yet they don't, they not paying attention to their finances, and, you know, say it ain't so, because I remember 10 years ago, people, everybody was screaming Al Heyman, had me wonder who he was, who was Al, who was Al, I hope it's not true, but I mean, hey, think about it, have y'all noticed that most of these fighters are getting screwed over by people with uh, with advanced degrees or degrees from from the prestigious universities let's just think about it yeah don king is from the streets but al Heyman went to harvard bob aram went to harvard shirley finkel went to harvard lou debella went to harvard y'all notice something these people are very educated and then they are they're coming down and and grabbing up fighters but these fighters they don't understand like you got to this is why you got to study financial literacy you know and i really hope that floyd ain't like these other fighters out here i really hope i hope i, I whoo 
you notice that he's doing all these different exhibitions. You know, in Florida, you gotta learn, you gotta learn how to how to cut back, man. You steady, you still buying Bugattis? Okay. I won't try to tell me the comment. Am I tripping? You know, is this a rumor? Michael Benson hating because this all makes sense if this is if this is true. You know, nobody should be in they almost in their 50s still doing exhibitions, especially when you didn't snatch it up according to you a billion dollars. You good. When you when you get to that kind of money, your money's making money. You make more money sitting at home on your phone than getting in the exhibition ring. When you talking about all these skyscrapers you own and all of that, it ain't worth it. So something ain't adding up, but I really want to know y'all thoughts. Tell me what y'all think.